Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for another unboxing and yes, it is another Caveco pen. This time this pen was sent to me by Caveco for review purposes. And actually it's not one pen, it's two pens and a blue Victorinox knife. So let's take a look inside. Okay, I guess now I can open this. Oops, today the tripod is in a different setup, so I hope I will not hit it too much time, too much, too often. So, I have here the air package got back by Nicole, the invoice of what is inside. And okay, I have here some extra things that I didn't know that I would receive, so thank you. So it comes like this in this usually nice black paper, the large and the larger sticker, that postcard that I really love, and then we have stuff the small sticker and the leaflet for the pen that is inside this thing. Another box. What is here? Hmm. I need to check this. Um, another thing. And now I guess it's all. Yes, it is. So let me take this out of the way and come back to these parts. So I wonder exactly what this is. I need to try to find out. So first, let me see what we have here. We have the new Caveco Collection pen and the new Caveco Collection is called Toyama Blue and Toyama Blue is an interesting color that has some sparkling because it is inspired in Toyama area in Japan and it is inspired by some blue sparkling water caused by the bioluminescence of some uh, water organisms, such as some squids, that uh, make the water glow. So this pen was inspired in that, in kind of a dark blue night uh, water with some sparkling and I guess you can see. So this is a part of the Caveco collection series, so it is kind of limited in time. And yes, yes, you can see some sparkling there. And now I notice that I should have brought here also some other pens for comparison, but I didn't think about them immediately, like the metallic purple and some art sports because of this sparkling. But I will show when I'll make the full review of it. Because I, I, I actually have, I saw the, the PDF about this, but I didn't actually see the, the color of the pen, so I didn't know exactly what I was expecting. It is quite nice. So we have, uh, it's basically a Skyline Sport. It, this one has a medium steel nib so it has the steel nib in steel color the chrome plated logo on top of the cap and also the silver imprint on the cap saying Caveco collection and I hope you can see all the sparkling it's not very easy to show and it was it's kind of fun to to have this so let me show it to you um, with 
some other comparisons and I brought to the table some other blue pens. I will just zoom in a little bit and I will show you them. Okay, so this is the Caveco Collection Toyama Blue and I brought here the Caveco Collection Cyan, which is a very different color. The Caveco Frosted Sport and now which is the name of this one? It's blueberry, but I for I don't remember the the other name. Something blueberry. Sorry about that. This is the regular Caveco Sport Blue. So this is I call this Toyama Blue, but it's not really Toyama Blue. It's Toyama Teal, and you can see it is more on the greenish side when compared with those. This is the Caveco Sport Elite Royalty Royal Blue and also this blue is really really different and the Bunt Sport Blue and this metallic lacquered prototype which is a very bright blue and it's not comparable with this one. Even the kind of glitter is not that similar, but this is a fun color, so but not really easy to show. And also for some comparison I brought here the Kult Pens Golden Color Pen, which has these all this glitter. And the glitter on this one is different. You can see it because you can easily see the, the sparkles and there you can see them but they are much smaller and there are some kind of swirls and you have here the pearlescent cafe collection and in these you can see that kind of swirls as you see in this one and the sparkling is not that visible so it's it's kind of interesting to see all these differences but I will make then a special video with a full comparison and uh, a full review with more detailed comparison with more pens maybe but so you can see this is a clearly different color because again this is royal blue this is the um, classic sport navy and you can see that this Toyama teal is really a, a color that is not comparable to any other of all these set so let's move on to some more exciting stuff. So again, thank you so much Kavek for sending me these. I wanted to open specific pens in specific uh, timings, but I, I hope this is one because of the weight. So this is the new version of these pens. And this is the very nice, I don't, I don't have any Fire Blue Caveco pen, and this is the new Caveco Lilliput in ballpoint. I don't use that much ballpoints, but I find very nice to have a very small ballpoint like that. So this is the Fire Blue version, and I think it's really, really, really nice. Uh, just to show you, uh, sorry, let me come back. This pen will cost around 25 euros, which is the regular price of a regular plastic of export this is the the royal blue this sorry not royal blue this is the fire blue um, ballpoint pen and this pen is a pen that um, was now released it was not it was available in some other finishes but it was not available as the the royal the the fire blue version the the ballpoint pen in so i just wish there was also a 
mechanical pencil because I really like mechanical pencils. Again, they sent me another one that I was not expecting, which is the same ballpoint pen, but in copper, and the shine on this one is just amazing. Look at this. This is beautiful. Now it's already stained with all my my fingerprints, but it is such a beautiful little writing instrument. As I told you, I'm not a big fan of ballpoint pens. I wish this could be uh, this could be adapted as ball as um, mechanical pencils. Now, how does it go back? But they are really nice. And just also for comparison with this, I brought here the because I'm not I was not sure if they would send me one of those. This is the really put but in fountain pen in steel. So the same material as the fire blue, but this is the regular steel not being heat treated to become like this. This is just beautiful. Even the feel is different. The, the texture of this pen is different than that one. And this is the copper. And I also brought here my very used fountain pen, the really put in copper which is very oxidized and just compare the color on this very well used never cleaned lily put in copper and the color of the brand new uh, <laughs> the brand new copper ballpoint pen they cannot be compared at all. Now I need to get the pouch for these two to go with me everywhere together because this is really nice. Now let's again I'm thinking what in earth is this little piece? Okay but I need to start stop thinking about it but I really would like I, I just I just say that I really would like to know what this is. I need to investigate. And now finally, let's go for let me close this one because this one is inked. Let's go for the final pen and maybe one of the most interesting of this batch for many people. I will close also this one. So these are the new releases and so the next one will be this one also the regular tin the regular everything and inside we have finally the caveco bronze sport okay i have to say that i always wanted to have a caveco uh, copper sport this is not yet that but I just have to expect that we are getting there so and I hope there will be one in the future this is the bronze sport I'm not sure if I can show you clearly the color I don't think so it's very very hard maybe I'll need to make some photos maybe with um, natural light so also medium nib made of steel it looks so nice it feels nice i think a, a bronze pen is, is interesting and you don't see that many bronze pens around there are more copper pens than bronze and, and the texture of this one is also really really different you can see it's kind of a brushed surface and I kind of like it. So in, in regarding the surface, it's very different. And I, will, I brought here some other pens to show you from the 
the regular Kavec AL Sport RAW, which is which was when it was brand new, completely mirror finished. And this is not mirror finished. It has kind of a, a brushed texture, so it's different in that way. I also brought here to show you the brass sport, but this brass sport is very, very oxidized also, as you can see. But the brass has a different color, so we can say this is more kind of pinkish and this is more yellowish, more golden. So I, I brought this because, not, not because the colors are comparable, but because this is just aluminium, just brass, just bronze. I don't have, I, I wish there was a Kavec bronze sport, uh, copper sport, there isn't, but now I have these uh, copper, really put, and you can see that copper and bronze have different colors, and it's also different from brass. So, not sure if this helps. This is much uh, more reddish. And again, so I just brought the met the all metal pens, like the AL Sport Raw, the Bronze Sport, the Brass Sport, the Steel Sport, which also has some kind of not brushed, but almost kind of brushed surface, you can see there. Not in the same way as the bronze, but look at it. It has some brushed surface. And the other one that is available, a very, very, very expensive pen, and I was lucky to have one that Kavec sent me is the sterling sport now be prepared because my sterling sport has something <laughs> happening to it is that it is now finally oxidized the silver is oxidized i have to confess that i helped it a little bit it was not that much i just helped it and here it is, this is the Sterling Sport, I know, maybe we will not even recognize this pen, this pen again is kind of mirror finished, because silver is very, very soft, it will get lots of small scratches, but you can see it has lots of tarnish now, I'm not sure if, you, if that's that visible on camera, but it really is uh, tarnished, it has ink because I've been using this pen since a very long time you can see it says there sterling it's a very very beautiful pen very heavy I'll need to also to have their weights to compare them all so this is the sterling sport let me put the AL sport Steel, sterling, bronze, and brass. And look what an amazing collection. And again, if we look at it, what is missing here is kind of a copper in between. A copper Caveco sport pen. So, Caveco, thank you so much for sending me these, but don't forget about that. I only, I'll need to wait to weigh these pens to have some idea and the heaviest is obviously the sterling sport and the bronze seems lighter than the steel but i'm not sure i need to have my scale here and to weigh them just for information also so i told you this is around 25 euros it also it always depends on the, on the vet in your of your country and so on the the bronze sport is available as a fountain this is available as a fountain pen 
This one is available as fountain pen, um, roller ball, ballpoint and mechanical pencil. And the fountain pen is around 155 euros, such as the roller ball and the ballpoint and mechanical pencil are around 135 euros. The, these ballpoints, these Lilliput, these new Lilliput ballpoints are this one, the fire blue is around 95 euros and the copper one, this one is around 75 euros. Again, these uh, prices have some fluctuations depending on the country where you're buying and where they are shipping to. So they, that can make some difference. So these are the new releases of Kavec for this year. Again, this is a limited edition because it is a Kaveco collection. So if you want to have one, be sure you don't let all the time go by. And the information I got from Kaveco is that this is also a limited edition and then it will not be produced anymore. So I'm not sure how many were made. They are not numbered individually. So I'm not sure how many pens there are, but they told me they will not be here forever. So this is up to you to find what you think you should do about them. So I'm, I'm really excited with this. So thank you, Kaveco. Thank you all for watching. I hope this was useful for you. Um, remember, you can always join the community in the, our Kaveco collectors and users Facebook group. And there we will discuss a lot and I usually try to put some photos which are usually better than these videos um, in color accuracy to be able to show you all the details and variations and comparisons and everything else that you may want to know about these little Kaveco pens. Community is very helpful and we are all there to help you or <laughs> to create an even bigger addiction. So this is all I had to show you today. Thank you again Kavec for sending me these products for review. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all that. And we will meet again soon here on the channel. So see you soon. Bye.